In this video, we'll give an overview of a work titled A Cross-Stitch Architecture for Joint Registration and Segmentation in Adaptive Radiotherapy. Here, we investigate architectural coupling of registration and segmentation in deep neural networks. We apply our approach in the context of online adaptive radiotherapy for the treatment of prostate cancer. For this treatment, the organs of the patient need to be delineated so that radiation can be focused on the tumor. This is done by radiation oncologists, who need to manually trace every horizontal slice of the scan to generate a single 3D contour. For online adaptive radiotherapy, treatment is applied over multiple days, and each day a new scan is made and delineated. As this is an extremely time-intensive procedure for radiation oncologists, automatic this procedure is crucial. Two common methods for generating contours are image segmentation and contour propagation using registration. Segmentation models take the daily scan as input and predict the corresponding contour by looking at tissue features in this scan. Registration models take both the manually delineated planning scan as input, which we will call the moving image, as well as the daily scan, which we will call fixed image. The model then predicts a mapping between the two in the form of a DVF that can be used to warp the planning scan, such as it's ideally equal to the daily scan. The same mapping can then be used to warp the planning contour to obtain the unknown daily contour. Contour propagation methods have the advantage of having prior knowledge of the patient's anatomy using the planning scan and contour. Segmentation methods, on the other hand, are more robust to changes in the patient's anatomy. By joining registration and segmentation, the unique strengths of both methods could be combined. We'll discuss GRS firstly to a loss for contour propagation and then combine segmentation and registration in one joint network. For all networks, we use the same unit-like architecture. The segmentation network at the top predicts a 3D probability map with five classes and is trained using the DICE loss. The registration network is trained using the NCC loss as well as the bending energy loss as regularizer for the DVF. These results, in terms of mean surface distance on the predicted segmentation maps, show that the registration network performs best for most organs. The segmentation network is best at predicting the bladder, since this organ deforms a lot between visits, which is a weakness for registration methods. The next network is a registration network that is trained with a third loss, namely the dice loss between the warped moving segmentation and the ground truth fixed segmentation. This extra loss improved the registration, although the results for the bladder show that there is still room for improvement. Which is why we designed this joint network that merges segmentation and registration architecturally. The architecture is similar to the previous network, except that it has an additional output layer for segmentation. The network is trained on both the registration and segmentation output at the same time. The results of this network are significantly better than the other networks, especially for the bladder. These results demonstrate that the joining of registration with segmentation in the network does help the segmentation task overcome most of its weaknesses. In the previous network, we forced all layers to be shared. It is also possible to share fewer layers, and you can imagine that there are many permutations of networks that share or not share specific layers. That's too many to try, so instead we apply the dynamic form of sharing, where the network learns for itself what to share and what to keep separate. In this network, there's individual paths for segmentation and registration. At four points in the network, the paths are connected using so-called cross-stitch units. A full explanation is given in the paper, but the takeaway point is that these units combine pairs of feature maps from the two paths via a simple, learnable linear function. These results show that this learnable way of sharing through cross-stitch units improves over the hard sharing network. We compare our results to an iterative method, a deep learning method, and a hybrid learning and iterative method. On the validation set, as shown here, our approach is significantly more accurate than these state-of-the-art methods. We also test our approach on an independent test set from an entirely different hospital and scanner. Our networks have not been retrained for this data. So due to differences in intensities between the two data sets, there's worse performance and more extreme outliers. Because of these large outliers, you can see worse mean values, although the cross test network still has the best median values. This issue can be easily alleviated by retraining the network on data similar to this data set. Finally, this is one example of what the generated contours may look like. The segmentation network on the left undersegments some organs and makes some false positive predictions. The registration output looks better, though it does suffer from some warping artifacts. The cross stitch network doesn't appear to suffer from these issues, thus it seems to have successfully combined the strengths of both methods. In conclusion, we have combined segmentation and registration through the loss in a registration network and through architecture in the fully hard sharing network and the cross stitch network. The joint networks have superior accuracy over the single task networks and compare favorably to state of the art methods on the validation set. Accuracy on the test set could be improved by training the networks for this data or using transfer learning. Further investigations could go towards the addition of a third task, such as the generation of the radiotherapy treatment plan. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.